Hey, welcome to Cooking Around's channel. Hello, hello. Guess what? Another excellent diet recipe. What is it? Cabbage patch stew. Yes, a stew. Not a soup this time. But you know what the difference is, right? Stew is more hearty. Fills you up. You know, cures those hunger pains. So look at this. It's got the fat burning cabbage, but it's got a little bit of bacon in it. But don't worry, because the bacon will give you energy. Plus, I didn't put too much. So let's get going here. Get yourself a pot and let's add one to two tablespoons of olive oil and let the heat go on medium high. Now let's add one medium white chopped onion and you know basically you can chop it any way you want and now let's sweat it out a little bit and to make it really healthy let's add two cloves of chopped garlic now here comes the part that I really like I'm adding three strips of bacon and this bacon is hickory flavor mm -mm -mm. now if you don't want to add bacon you can add basically the same amount and just use ham well you can basically use anything but you know I like the bacon flavor especially in the stew because it gives it that extra extra oomph to the taste that I know you will like now after a couple of minutes let's say three minutes let's add one tablespoon of flour and this is going to make the stew uh, rich it's going to make a smooth velvety taste to it and now let's add just a splash of water just to bring this all together now let's add one cube of chicken stock and yes it's low sodium if you don't want to use this type I recommend you use beef or even veggie Okay, here comes the fat burner. Let's add two cups of shredded cabbage right to the pot just like this. And still on medium high, let's stir that all around for a couple of minutes. Okay, since this is a patch from a farmer's garden, let's add one medium carrot diced and half a cup or more of peas you can even add frozen peas if you want and we're going to add one bay leaf and now let's mix that all around now we're going to wait for it to start to boil a little bit so let's keep on moving it and now we're going to add freshly ground pepper how much well that really just depends on you now let's add more water how much that depends on you do you want it really as a stew or do you want it as a soup so you have to make a decision at this point how much water to add now i want you to cover it bring it to a boil reduce the heat let it simmer for about 20 minutes now if you're veggie sensitive let it go all the way for 30 minutes okay it's been about 20 minutes let's take a look oh it's going really really good and you can see I did not put that much water so it is going to be the way I like it okay let it cool a little bit and now let's add about three quarter cups of sour cream or you can add a little bit of water to bring the temperature down so the cream doesn't crack and keep on adding a little bit of time and stirring it and add a little bit more and stirring it just like this please be patient I know that you are hungry well here it is don't forget to take the bay leaf out please enjoy please let those comments keep on coming and I will have more videos for you so once again once again it's goodbye from Tony and cooking around